Welcome to Movies Report, today we're gonna watch a comedy adventure movie called, Isle of Dogs. Spoilers ahead. The film begins with a tale about three clans at battle. Two of them were dog lovers, whereas the Kobayashi family preferred cats. The clans fought until a kid warrior appeared and killed the Kobayashi clan's leader. The Kobayashi family has not forgiven their greatest defeat even after centuries. We fast forward 20 years to the Japanese city of Megasaki. A nationwide outbreak of snout fever has infected dogs. Mayor Kobayashi issues an order relocating all dogs to Trash Island, a quarantined area. Spots, Kobayashi's orphan nephew Atari's pet and bodyguard, is the first dog sent there. Professor Watanabe, the head of the science party, believes the dogs can be cured. Whatever happened to man's best friend, muses interpreter Nelson, who translates and comments on major events in the city. Rex, King, Duke, Boss, and their leader, Chief, lead a pack of five dogs. As a source of food for the dogs, the city imports garbage bags. When one of the bags falls, Chief's pack encounters a rival pack of dogs. They get into a savage fight for the garbage, with Chief biting off the ear of another dog. His pack triumphs, but Rex, a former house pet, declares that he can't take any more of the garbage. Although King, Boss, and Duke are all domesticated, Chief, a stray, is more grateful for what they have. The dogs then notice Nutmeg, a female dog, walking by. A plane piloted by Atari crashes into the island. When the dogs see the wreckage, they chase him down. A piece of the plane is stuck in Atari's head. When he sees the dogs, he uses a photo to inform them that he is looking for spots. The dogs aren't familiar with him, but they are aware that he is the first dog to be sent there. They take Atari to his cage, which contains a dog skeleton because none of the other dogs know how to open it. Atari becomes agitated and upset. We see a flashback to when Atari first got spots after his parents were killed in a train accident. In the same accident, Atari lost his right kidney. Spots is brought in by Kobayashi's majordomo, who does not appear to approve of Atari treating Spots like a pet. With tears in his eyes, Atari begins to whisper to Spots, telling him that he can understand him. Atari makes an attempt to flee the island. Rex notices Boss wearing the cage dog's collar and notices at the tag says, Sport, rather than, Spots. After Atari crashes the plane yet again, the dogs agree to assist him in his search for Spots. Chief, however, does not trust Atari and refuses to assist him, but the dogs overrule his decision. Chief has a formal meeting with Nutmeg at night. He pries into her life by inquiring about her mating partners, which she disapproves of. He gets to talk to her more after apologizing. Nutmeg claims to be a former show dog who can do tricks. She asks Chief if he will assist Atari because boys like him enjoy dogs. Chief is unsure at first, but eventually agrees to join the mission. Watanabe successfully discovers the cure for the canine flu in a city lab. His discovery is presented to Kobayashi by him and his assistant scientist, Yoko Ono, but he dismisses it and plans to keep the dogs on Trash Island. Watanabe notices a file containing classified information about the canine flu and Trash Island after he leaves the room, but the majordomo swipes it away from him before he can read it. On their way to find spots, the dogs begin to discuss their favorite foods. Chief reveals to them that he wasn't always astray when they ask him. He was owned by a family until he bit the oldest boy's hand while attempting to pet Chief. He claims it was so bad that he nearly ripped the boy's hand off. He was locked in a shed by his family, but his grandmother brought him a bowl of hibachi chili, which he claims was his favorite food. He dug himself out of the hole and became a stray. A rescue team, along with a drone and a robot dog, descends in search of Atari. The captors capture Atari, but the pack fights them off and saves him. Chief is injured in his battle with the robot dog, but Atari is set free and disables the robot dog. The drone comes crashing down to the ground as well. Tracy Walker, an exchange student from Megasaki City, presents her class with a conspiracy theory involving the Kobayashi party, and she vows to do whatever it takes to prove that the mayor is corrupt. She organizes a televised rally with the other kids to demand a change in the way the dog situation is handled. We learn that Tracy is Nutmeg's owner from the kids holding up pictures of their dogs. Atari and the dogs set out to track down Jupiter and Oracle, two of the island's wisest dogs. Oracle claims to have visions, but all she does is understand what's on TV and translate what's going on. Jupiter and Oracle recognize Spots in his photo as Dog Zero when they find them. Jupiter speculates that Spots is being held captive on the island by a pack of cannibal aboriginal dogs. Chief and Atari are separated from the other four dogs as the group attempts to travel further in search of Spots. 
After they arrive, Atari tries to play with Chief, who is initially hesitant but eventually warms up to him. He even allows Atari to pet him. He then gives Chief a bath, thoroughly cleaning him and revealing that he is of the same breed as Spots. Sushi is being prepared in Megasaki by a chef. He smears poisoned wasabi on one of the rolls and delivers it to Professor Watanabe's office. He was found dead in the morning, apparently from a suicide attempt. Tracy persists in her investigation, even confronting a distraught Yoko to confirm the existence of the cure. Tracy receives it from Yoko on her way to uncovering the truth. As they approach a bridge that will lead them to the aboriginal tribe, Atari and Chief reunite with Rex, Boss, King, and Duke. The four dogs become stuck on the trash lift, but Atari and Chief manage to get across. They are once again confronted by Kobayashi's men, as well as more robot dogs. Just as it appears that the two have run out of time, they are discovered by none other than Spots. Spots is found by a pack of aboriginal dogs in another flashback, but he learns from their leader, Gondo, that they only ate their former leader because he was sick and dying, and the other dogs had no choice but to eat him because there was nothing else for them to eat. Gondo admits that this hurt him and the others, but he doesn't like the fact that they have a cannibal dog reputation. Spots' cage key is discovered, and he is set free. After that, Spots meets Peppermint, who will be his future mate. Back in the present, Spots dispatches the robot dogs with his military-issued explosive teeth. To get away from the others, Spots takes Chief and Atari and jumps into the river. Spots tells Atari that because of his new role in the tribe and the fact that he and Peppermint are going to be parents, he can no longer serve him and be his bodyguard. He also confirms their relationship to Chief. Spots decides that he can now pass on his former role to Chief, and Chief is initially disgusted with him because Atari went through all of this just for him. Chief accepts his new role when Atari places Spots' mic and earpiece on him. Atari, Chief, and Spots come across a Jupiter-sent messenger owl. They discover that Kobayashi intends to eliminate the city's dog problem by poisoning them with gas. To stop this, Atari leads his dogs out on rafts back toward the city. The entire city has gathered to witness Kobayashi's election. After the bridge jump, Atari is thought to have died. Tracy and her classmates show up to protest, with Tracy attempting to expose Kobayashi's corruption, as well as the fact that he and his team created the canine flu out of hatred for dogs, and that Watanabe was murdered. As a result, her student visa has been revoked, and she faces deportation. Atari, Chief, and the rest of the dogs show up. Chief is immediately free of the canine flu after they administer the cure. Atari then stands up to give a speech and a haiku, which brings Kobayashi to tears and causes him to reconsider his position. He overturns the Trash Island decree and admits to being corrupt and dishonest. He tries to stop the poisoning, but the Majordomo insists on carrying out the extermination. They activate the poison by pressing a button, but thanks to one of Tracy's hacker friends, the poison backfires and affects the island's robot dogs and exterminators. Atari and the other dogs are then attacked by a robot dog, but Spots intervenes and fights the robot dog. It is destroyed, but Spots loses an eye and Atari is left with a metal fragment lodged in his skull. Atari's brain surgery goes well, but his remaining kidney fails. Kobayashi decides to donate his left kidney in order to save the life of his nephew. For their crimes, Kobayashi and his entire group have been imprisoned. Atari is elected mayor of Megasaki as a result of the election law. He arranges for all dogs to be returned to their owners and reintegrated into society. This aids the return of former dog-related businesses, such as a dog treat factory that the other dogs adored. Chief is able to get closer to Nutmeg as Atari and Tracy become a couple. Spots, now sporting a mechanical eye, and Peppermint, along with their puppies, are last seen peacefully living in the Kobayashi Manor. Thank you for watching. And make sure to subscribe for more content like this.